venner igen af kæmper og mor. Og vi har fået set dem af sted her. And they are out for the blocks already in the men's K1, C1, at 1000 meter final. You can tell straight away that's the Russian Brenner from Germany. Had a very, very big straight in indeed. As did Ilya Stokolov of Russia, who's just alongside him. But it is, at the moment, Sebastian Brendel of Germany that's got the strongest star, but Elias Stockel of Russia sticking right by him, perhaps just a foot between the nose of those two. You can see here, the very good start, he was always the best in Brendel. You can also see that the Russian star is going to be a strong star, he's 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 going to be a strong star. Disse to ord, der har lagt sig i front, men det er der også fået lidt, så det ligger Mark Rolos job på den tredje plads lige nu. I hvert fald her Sebastian Brandl, det skal I nyde det her syn. Det er en stor, stor, stærk tysker. Se hans lange, flotte kanomtag her nede over banen. Så det er through the 250 meter mark, and it is Sebastian Brandl of Germany, that just has the lead over Ilya Stokolov of Russia, who's alongside him in lane four, keeping the pressure on the whole time. Mark Oldershaw of Canada, he was there just on their tail, but he seems to have slipped back a bit now. It looks really challenging conditions out there, but in lane 9 it is Gerasim Koshnev from Uzbekistan that uh, at the moment is leading the pack behind them, but Sebastian Brendo and Ilya Stokolov leading them out at the moment with clear water between them. And a very strong, powerful section at the moment for Gerasim uh, Koshnev from Uzbekistan, the gold medalist in the C4 at the last World Cup in Germany. He's powering to try and get back in contention with those two front paddlers. He is just on their tail, perhaps a boat length behind Sebastian Brendel right now. Sai Wen Chen of China just dropped off the back of uh, Gerasim Koshnev. And after a quite strong start, Mark Aldershaw, perhaps surprisingly, has uh, dropped off the pace. But still, Sebastian Brendel of Germany and uh, Ilya Stoklov of Russia up the front with Gerasim Koshnev of Uzbekistan as they come towards the 500 meters. You can see that really efficient, strong technique of uh, Sebastian Brenda in the front, almost at a 45 degree angle when he's stretching out with his blade really using his entire body. You see perhaps some of the athletes just behind them got a bit more of an upright stance and that involves using a bit more of the arms. So not quite as, uh, not quite as efficient. But Sebastian Brendel still there. Gerasim Kochnev now coming closer into contention, I think, with those three at the front. But there's clear water between Brendel, Shlokolov and Kochnev and the rest of the field. Men altså, Rosan her, han giver ham altså et løb, han bliver liggende på siden af ham. Må vi se her omkring de sidste 250 meter, hvad der kommer til at ske. Men i hvert fald her, stadigvæk meget, meget stærkt til Sebastian Brandl. Så kan vi også se, at kineser nu bag nummer to, lige var en vang, begynder at røre på sig. Det bliver spændende at se, om han kan komme op i nærheden af. Vi kan også se bag nummer 8, den anden kineser, Simon Chen, begynder at røre på sig. Men i hvert fald her, stadigvæk i førende hjemme 200 meter, er det tysk. Det kan du også se her på bag nummer 9, Uzbekistan skal sige, at Kochberg kommer rigtig, rigtig stærkt ud. Jeg tror faktisk, at han er gået op og presset Sebastian Brandt ud. Så Kochner fra Uzbekistan har virkelig løftet sin stroke. Vi så ham løftet sin stroke på 250 meter mark. And but uh, uh, Sebastian Brandl has come back. I think he's seen him out of the corner of his eye, and he's got a strong finish on him as well. So uh, Gerasim Kochnev of Uzbekistan out here in lane nine, really been able to sort of focus on himself because he's been out on a limb. No, no athletes really in his periphery. But uh, Sebastian Brandl, after bursting out of those the blocks earlier, is still in the lead by perhaps half a boat length over Gerasim Kochnev of Uzbekistan. Ilya Stokolov, after that quite strong start, has dropped now back to third. Wow, Gerasim uh, Koshnev of Uzbekistan ran Sebastian Brando extremely close there, extremely closely indeed. 